Hey guys, uh, just quickly to I, just adding this clip into the video. Um, I'm sorry for the awful sound. Um, my original camera broke, unfortunately. Um, so I've been having to use this small little camera that I have at home just to film some videos. So the um, the sound is pretty bad, I know. And if you watch my previous videos as well, you notice if you notice that they were blurry, that was because my camera was actually breaking. Um, and a bunch of things were going wrong with this. So we are getting it fixed. This isn't permanent, but for now, just bear with me um, until the camera is fixed. I can film proper videos for you again. Thank you so much for watching all my videos, and I hope you enjoy this video I'm going to talk about. Bye. Hey, guys. Today's video is about how I keep the pacifier in my baby's mouth uh, at night while he's sleeping. Normally, I don't like to give him one during the day because I just don't want him to get addicted to it, but he gets one at night. Um just to help him fall asleep because he does sleep longer with it. So I actually use two different kinds of pacifiers. I have this kind here which is just the typical one and then I have this one here which is a newborn pacifier. I'm not sure if you can see that. But this one is the one that they give you at the hospital if you ask for one and uh, it's supposed to, it's like a, a newborn pacifier and it's supposed to help develop um, strong gums and teeth and stuff like that. But when I started giving this, to him, this one to him first um, I noticed that he actually didn't like it too much, but when I was persistent with it, then he actually um, got used to it, and then he did keep it in his mouth a lot longer than the normal one. So I would recommend um, buying one of these first. They're really cheap. This I got two of them for like six bucks. Um, try it first, and if he doesn't like that one better and he still spits it out, then you can try the normal one. Now with this one, when I would put it in his mouth, he would suck on it for a little bit and then spit it out, not because he doesn't like it, it's because he just couldn't keep it in his mouth. He, um, when I would give it to him, he would definitely get happy and like, and he gets upset when it comes out and he would just start crying and I have to put it back in. So I know that he, it's not because he doesn't like it. So what I started doing was the first thing I noticed was when I would give it to him, he would be sucking on it so hard that it would just actually fall out. And that was, um, I noticed that was because he was hungry, so if your baby is sucking on the pacifier really, really hard and then it falls out. It's not because, you know, they don't want it or something. It's I would actually try feeding them first um, because it could be that they're just hungry. And once they're fully fed, if you put it back in, they should suck on it slower, which won't make it fall out, hopefully, um, because then they'll be more satisfied. Now, if it still does fall out after that, the second thing I tried to do was for... It, it takes some, you know, time and some effort, but... Um, I would take the pacifier and in his mouth, just like this. I'm not sure if you guys can even see him right now. But I would put it in his... I don't even know if he wants it right now. Well, I would put it in his mouth, and then when it would fall out to like the point where it's just resting on his lip, I would hold it there for him so it wouldn't like fall to his chest or any, any farther. But then he would kind of figure out how to like suck it back in himself. I did this for about two to three weeks, and like consistently every night I would wake up, even if it was every five minutes, and I would just do that for him. And by doing that, he learned to like what, what he can do to get it back in his mouth if it's like just sitting right here because most of the time that's, it would just fall onto his chest and it would be like this. So now he knows how to like grab it kind of, like not with his hands, with his mouth and put it back in, which is kind of cute. And also the other thing I can recommend doing, um, if you swaddle your baby, this worked out amazing for me because I do swaddle my baby. Um, put the swaddle cloth kind of like at the chin level. Like don't obviously cover the nose or anything like that, but put it instead of like on the chest, put it over the chin and tight. So like when you swaddle him, wrap it around almost his head, like the bottom of his head. Um, and what that what that did for me was when I would put the pacifier in his mouth, I would put the swaddle cloth over the pacifier and because it was tight, it would hold it in his mouth and he'd be able to suck on it all night. And it wasn't, like don't panic because it's not so tight where the baby can't like breathe and all that. It's loose enough that if he doesn't want the pacifier anymore, he can spit it out and it would just sit right here. And then there would be, you know, the, the, pa the swaddle cloth would be open so the air could get through. So it's not, you know, it's dangerous or anything like that. But that was also the other thing that I did, and that did help him sleep completely through the night, because he does like his pacifier. Um, and, oh my gosh, good job! <laughs> so um, that's about all I have to say about okay. them. Um, if you are going to try the method where you kind of hold it for him, like, you know, lightly, and then when it spits out, just kind of hold it, but, you know, don't push it in his mouth and let him grab it himself, that will teach him to learn, like, know what to do. Um, if, you know, if you're not around and that happens, because he'll be able to suck it back in. Um, also, I noticed that he does start to hold things now, and he is kind of starting to hold his pacifier in his mouth on his own, and he is only um, a little over two months, maybe, I think he's two and a half months now. So, uh, 
your baby eventually will be able to hold it themselves, so this isn't going to last forever. But just in the meantime, those are just some tips and tricks you can try to help you um, keep it in his mouth so you can sleep well at night, I guess. Um, so anyways, thank you so much for watching, and we'll talk to you in the next video. Bye! Say bye, everybody! Thanks for watching!